Hello everybody, welcome back to the third and final part of our collab with Everything Star Wars. If you haven't gone and checked out our prequels opinion on his channel, the link will be in the description as well as a link to his channel. I do recommend you go and look at his channel, he does amazing Star Wars videos and I personally think he's a great content creator. That being said, if you did come over from his channel, please consider subscribing and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now when it comes to the sequels, the characters don't get a 10 out of 10 like the other two trilogies. In my opinion, it only gets like a 6. The reason for this is not because of Rey, like many people would think I would say, it's because of Finn. In The Force Awakens, Finn was advertised to be like a proper Jedi, you know, he had a lightsaber duel. Well, not really a duel, it was more of him getting his ass whooped. But he, he did have a lightsaber fight and in the posters he was advertised as a Jedi and then he just turned out to be a normal character. Now the plot I'm also going to give, well actually no, I'll give it a 7. This is mainly because of The Force Awakens and how it set up an amazing plot. The Last Jedi, an unpopular opinion, but it's my one. I think it had a good plot, it led on to Rise of Skywalker, well, well it could have been really well, but then Rise of Skywalker was a little bit disappointed. But that being said, it is such a high rating because it's Disney's first trilogy, and to be fair they didn't have a plan, which is their fault, but for not having a plan I think they did fairly well. And I think if you ask most of the people, they couldn't direct or plan out a script that detailed for their first Star Wars trilogy. Now the visuals are my favourite part of the sequels by far, they get a 10 out of 10 from me and this is most likely because it was made when it was made, it was made 2016, 2018 and 2020 I believe and the visuals in the movies were all stunning, it's my favourite of all the trilogies but that's probably most likely, like I said, because of the time it was made. Like, just look at this, how can you not love it? Now the dialogue I saw nothing wrong with it, I'm just going to say 9 out of 10 because there's not that many like memorable quotes in there. The only ones I can think of is I am all the Sith and I am all the Jedi and Rey Skywalker. But then like I said I can't really think of any negative pieces of dialogue so I'm just going to leave it at 9. Now choreography I'm going to give it an 8 and I know many people are going to be shocked by that but I do believe that the lightsaber fights weren't the worst. When you take it into perspective Rey didn't have much training so she's obviously going to be clumsy whilst fighting and Kylo mainly just had to block them or parry them which he did fairly well but seeming as he wasn't a full Sith he couldn't dedicate himself to it as much as he would have wanted to I believe. Now that's my ratings for the different categories and I'm going to give the sequels an 8 out of 10 overall because there are some things that let it down but then once again there are the visuals which make up for it in my opinion. In the sequel trilogy I would have to rate the characters 7 out of 10. This is mainly because of Luke Skywalker's treatment and how much I wasn't a fan of it. I also feel like Finn's character could have had a lot more development and had a lot more potential than we actually got. However, I did actually really enjoy the character of Kylo Ren, and I don't think Rey deserves as much hate as she actually does get. Personally, I would give the plot a 6 out of 10, and I know that is quite low. I, in, It was awkward for me, the sequels, because Force Awakens, I really liked the idea of Luke Skywalker has gone missing, and then the cliffhanger at the end. And I don't want to sound like one of those sequel haters, because I'm not. However, I just found it hard to, like, follow along and actually get on with the plot. The original idea of Luke Skywalker going missing, that's great. There's a map to find him? Cool. But then when we do find him, it kind of goes downhill. But again, that's just my own opinion. I did like the fact, obviously, as I just said, I did like the fact that Luke Skywalker has gone missing. It was just after that it kind of went a little bit downhill. Now, personally, I actually did really like the visuals and the cinematography of the sequels. Um, I loved the shots of Vader's burn helmet. I think that looked amazing. I loved when Palpatine was summoning New Empire. That looked amazing as well. And obviously, Starkiller Base destroying the planets. That was a beautiful scene with the red. That was amazing. I do think it was one of the stronger points. Not necessarily on the same level as how I think the prequels looked. But we definitely did get a lot of good shots. So I would give that a 9 out of 10. The dialogue of the sequels. There were some parts of it that I did really like. Like the, I will finish what you started thing with Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. I can't remember the exact quote. Um, however, obviously the Rey Skywalker thing is very controversial. I'm weird with that one. I don't necessarily have an opinion. 
I don't hate it, but at the same time, I'm not the biggest fan of her classing herself as a Skywalker. That's up for debate. I might end up making a video on it in the future. However, we did get some really decent lines, apart from obviously how much Finn screams Ray. I did really like um, Han Solo talking about the Force. I did really like that dialogue. I liked the dialogue between Luke and Leia in The Last Jedi. The dialogue was actually pretty okay in the sequels, so I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Finally, the choreography. I'm not necessarily... I don't necessarily hate it. Again, the sequels are a little bit weird for me. I'm like I'm in the middle ground. Um, I... I liked the cinematography of the throne room scene. I did really like that. However, if you watch the combat fully and ignore, like, the background of everything, it's a little bit weird. Obviously, like, there's the disappearing dagger. There's a couple of parts in the choreography that I do feel, like, needed improving. And I feel like, compared to the prequels, they didn't necessarily put as much effort training and that, like, that's perfectly fine. However, I do think there was some area of improvement. However, even though it's a little bit controversial, I actually quite liked the battle between Kylo Ren and Luke. I did really like it. Even though it was a little bit unrealistic, I still really enjoyed it. So, personally, I would give the choreography maybe a 7 out of 10. Overall, I would rate the sequel trilogy a 7 out of 10. It's not. I don't hate it, and I'm definitely not one of the sequel haters. I will always watch them because it's Star Wars, and I love everything about Star Wars in general. However, the sequels are my least favourite trilogy. As I said, I don't hate them, but I do feel like there could have been some improvements. So with the characters in the sequels, I believe they could have done a lot more with them. I mean, there were some good characters in there that had a lot of potential, like Finn, who um, could have had an amazing backstory being a stormtrooper who was force sensitive. He could have been an amazing Jedi. They could have done so much with his character. Rey, uh, she's a good character, but I feel like they could have focused it on other characters too, given Jedi, uh, other characters are Jedi too, but I feel like she's an amazing character overall. I like her as a character. I feel like she gets hate that she doesn't deserve. Um, but yeah, I feel like the characters could have done, they could have done a lot more with the characters. I feel like all the characters that were new to the sequels had a lot of potential. Um, and they could have done a lot more of them. I feel like Kylo Ren is the best character in the sequels by far. I feel like Finn could have been the best character, in my opinion. But I uh, just feel like they didn't do enough with him. But I'll rate the, the characters a 6 out of 10, mainly because, um, because they had a lot of potential, but they just didn't execute the... They just didn't execute the right ideas with them. I feel like they had the right ideas with them, but they just didn't go through with it. That's why I gave it a 6 out of 10. Uh, the plot for the sequels, I feel like... Um, I felt the plot was kind of... Well, there was... kind. Of, I felt the plot was kind of all over the place with the sequels. I feel like they didn't really have a plot in each film. Well, in The Force Awakens, they were kind of destroying Starkiller Base. Episode, episode 8, it was kind of Luke's like death, but kind of him going back to what he failed on which was Ky well Ben and then obviously episode 9 was ending it all ending Palpatine the plot I feel like they could have done it with Anakin but that's for another time uh, I feel like I feel like the chosen one prophecy kind of ruined but you know that's just my opinion but yeah I feel like the plot I give it as 6 out of 10 again because I feel like they could have done a lot more they, they had a lot of good ideas of it but they just didn't use them so yeah that's why I give it a 6 out of 10 now the visuals for the sequels uh, I love the visuals I think the visuals for the sequels are amazing obviously we're in new we've got better technology now but I feel like either way the visuals are amazing in the sequels especially in episode 9 and episode 7 I feel like and episode 8 all, all of them obviously but I feel like episode 9 had the best visuals um, obviously with Exegol I feel like the visuals were amazing. I give a visual 9 out of 10 for the sequels because I just feel they're amazing. Now the dialogue, uh, I feel like the dialogue in some aspects of the films were good. Uh, at some points they were a bit dodgy but I feel like overall the, the dialogue was amazing in the sequels. I feel like they did, they did kind of make it, it wasn't like with other trilogies where they kind of used memes, they kind of made dialogue out of the memes. But because the sequels, I feel like they didn't have. A, I mean, it was comedy in there, but not as much as like the other trilogies, uh, the other like the prequels and the originals. So I give the dialogue an eight out of ten. 
because mainly they kind of kept it on serious notes. But yeah, either way, I feel like this dialogue was very good. Now, choreography, I see uh, the sequels do get a lot of hate for the lightsaber duels that they have in the choreography. I feel like they kind of rushed into the choreography a bit. Um, I c yeah, I feel like they rushed into it. I feel like some of the fights were good, some of them were, were bad. And I feel like compared compared to, um, to like, uh, the other um, trilogies, like the original, uh, the original trilogy, uh, lightsaber battles, obviously they were good. I feel like obviously they were much slower but uh, I feel like they were better than sequels but that's just my opinion um, prequels obviously they were much much better than the sequels I feel like they had a lot of purpose as, as well I feel like Rey and Kylo Ren I feel like Rey should have been defeated by Kylo Ren but obviously that's how it should have, have that had to went because for Kylo to go on and have hate but uh, I feel like overall there were some fights and some good that were bad and some were bad and with the other trilogies most of the fights were good and there was an odd few that were bad so that's why I'm going to give the uh, choreography for this a 6 out of 10 as well but obviously I still think that some of the lightsaber jewels in that trilogy were absolutely amazing um, so overall I would give the, the sequel trilogy a 7 out of 10 obviously I, I don't dislike the sequels, I think I love the sequels, I do like the sequels, but compared to the other two trilogies, I don't, they're my least favourite, but I still have a lot of love for the sequels, obviously there's a lot of good stuff in there, um, it could have been amazing to, uh, to end the Skywalker saga, but uh, obviously I feel like it gets a lot more hate and it sh doesn't deserve the hate it gets, especially with the characters and the actors, they get way too much hate, and The Last Jedi does get too much hate as well, and obviously sequels do not deserve that much hate thank you everyone for sticking around this long if you did watch this far then we appreciate you and go and check out everything star wars link will be in the description and go look at the prequels opinions on his channel and this video will also be on his channel so you know go check him out he's an amazing creator and may the force be with you